pleased to introduce Fiorella Piccioni from Reading University who will talk about seasonal patterns of energy expenditure, time use and food intake, an intra-household perspective from rural Ghana. What can we learn about seasonal patterns of rural livelihoods from tracking 40 Ghanaian farmers for a total of 26,880 hours? Um, so we have looked at rural livelihoods of 20 pairs of uh, men and women in engaged in farming activities uh, in the region of uh, Upper West uh, region in, Ga in Northern Ghana uh, for a total, total of four non-consecutive weeks. Each week corresponds to a particular um, farming uh, stage. In particular, we have concentrated on land preparation, seeding and sowing, uh, land maintenance and uh, harvest. We have collected three different types of data. Energy expenditure uh, using accelerometry devices that are tools that contain uh, accelerometer sensors that capture movement, uh, both in terms of uh, intensity and direction. We have accelerometer devices to our respondents of every day in each of the week that we, will, that we were um, interested to cover. Um, we have also deployed uh, two other different instruments. We have collected um, time use surveys, 24-hour recall time use surveys and 24-hour recall food intake um, data for every day that the accelerometer devices was, uh, was worn. In this way, we are able to triangulate uh, um, these different sources of data and analyze the seasonal pattern um, and tensions between different productive and reproductive activities of rural livelihoods. Uh, for the sake of time, I will concentrate on the energy expenditure component of our project and the time use uh, um, component. So, the use of accelerometry devices allows us to integrate the human energy dimension um, to time use data. So, not, so, we're able to capture not only the time element of, of a productive and reproductive activity, but also the intensity of each activity. Um, this offers us a very interesting window to understand the seasonal patterns of labor allocation between men and women. For example, accelerometry devices allow us to calculate the physical activity level index, which is a standardized index um, of energy intensity. And it's standardized because it adjusts calorie expenditure to uh, different characteristics of the individual, in particular uh, biological sex, age, height, and weight. So this first graph shows the uh, density distribution of uh, daily PAL for men and women. Each graph represents one stage of the agricultural cycle, uh, land preparation on the top left, uh, seeding and sowing, maintenance and harvest. The uh, darker line represents the density distribution of PAL for men and the red line represents the density distribution of PAL of women. As you can see, um, women's PAL tends to be greater across all, seasonal, all agricultural seasons. By looking also at the time use uh, and activity uh, dimensions of, the, uh, of our survey, we are able to unpack and to look at, the, uh, and look at uh, what uh, activity uh, represents uh, or influences more these levels of PAL. So in this graph, we have plotted um, the differences in PAL between, men and, between women and men. By each different types of category, by different um, activity categories, uh, domestic activities, economic activities, individual sleeping and resting, and social activities. So, women PAL is dominated by domestic activity and economic activity, while men's participation in domestic activities is it's practically inexistent. And economic activities represent the main share of, um, of, their, of their total PAL, followed by social activity. A very similar pattern is uh, obtained by doing the same exercise with time uh, allocated to different activities. 76% of, of, of women's time is allocated to economic activity and domestic activity almost in equal share, while men's, men's time is almost dominated by economic activity followed by social activities. So our conclusion is proportion of time and energy that women spend on domestic activities appears to involve a trade-off against opportunities for economic activities and social 
happens. We have also performed the fixed effect model, um, where we model the contribution of time spent in each activity in the daily pal of men and women. And we have found that all activities are signif significantly affect women's pal, while men's pal is significantly affected by economic activities. The technology is very flexible and adaptable to different uh, contexts and different studies. Uh, we have plotted, and we will show you just uh, examples that we have uh, uh, thought about, but if you have other ideas, please and come, come talk, to, talk to us either at the poster presentation of my colleague Giacomo Zanello or to me. So, for example, we could use uh, um, accelerometry devices to better understand intra-household patterns of energy expenditure by widening the range of household members in our data collection. We can use the energy consumption of people that are less productive because affected by tropical diseases or HIV AIDS. Um, study, for example, physical activity level of school children to better inform school feeding programs, or also to understand the patterns of uh, physical activity between rural uh, dwellers and urban dwellers. Thanks.